lovely viewers, my name is Amanda Lee and today I'm going to talk to you about vintage hair setting. A good set is the proper foundation for achieving a truly authentic vintage hairstyle. I'm often asked, Amanda, how do you set your hair? Your hair always looks so authentic like it's straight out of the 40s. And I'll tell you, the secret is a proper set. There are two ways that you can go about setting your hair. Cold setting, which involves using curlers or pin curls on damp hair, or hot setting, which involves hot rollers with dry hair. Personally, I prefer to use cold setting. I find that I get a longer lasting, stronger curl with cold setting as opposed to hot rollers. My hair is pretty straight and I find that hot rollers just don't last that long with my hair type. I like to use them for touch-ups or in a pinch if I don't have time to cold set my hair, but in general I cold set my hair every night. However, for the purposes of this video, I'll be using my favorite type of hot rollers, hot sticks. Hot sticks uh, do a great job of creating an authentic pin curl set, and you can find them pretty cheaply online. I actually found mine in a thrift store. For cold sets, I like to use either foam sticks or perm rods. The foam sticks that I use are actually made by Goody. I don't know if Goody still makes some, but I do know that Sally Beauty makes a really similar product, this wire-filled foam stick that works great, and it's pretty inexpensive. For perm rods, I like to use the 7 16 size. I also got these at Sally's and they're also very inexpensive. For me, over the years, I have found that both the foam sticks and the perm rods do an excellent job of creating a really consistent set. I pretty much always know what I'm going to get when I use these. Uh, they're pretty easy to sleep in and also much faster to do than pin curls. For cold sets, it's very important that your hair is damp and not wet or you will wake up the next morning and your hair will be wet. Half of it's going to be wet and the other half is going to be curled and I know this from experience. To make it easier, uh, in between shampoos, I actually will set my hair dry and then just pat it with water, and I find that that's enough dampness to activate the curl process. And now I'm going to show you the basic setting pattern that I use for pretty much all of the hairstyles that I do. I typically use about four to five curlers for each side and three to four for the back. Uh, with cold setting, again, I always like to start with a setting lotion. I personally like to use Proclaim, which you can pick up this gigantic bottle, for about $3 at Sally Beauty. Another good one that I have used that's very popular is Lotta Body. Uh, for a hot set, you may like to use something like Redken Spray Starch or Redken Hot Set, which is a heat-activated curl spray, and it'll help you get a, a longer-lasting curl. All right, well, let's begin here. I'm going to brush out the hairspray that's in my hair. And how I like to do it is start with a section at the front of my hair. And you got to get it brushed nice and smooth so the ends aren't kinked in any way. And then I take the hair and I always roll it under. And for the side uh, sections I tend to roll it towards my face or in this case like down like a, a rolled bang. And there you go, that's kind of like your faux pen curl. Then I always move along to the left side of my hair, just out of habit. I'm going to put another roller here. Again, you want to keep it nice and tight and smooth. Then I'll move and grab that section. With the hot sticks, I like to use the purple or the bigger rollers for the top sections. And then for the bottom sections, I like to use the smaller rollers. Since I want that portion of the hair to be a little tighter curled. So you'll see I'll have two curlers here, one curler here, and either one or two curlers here, depending on how long my hair is and how well it's curling at the moment. It's kind of temperamental. So today I'm going to put in two curlers just to give you the full effect. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. There's more hair. So it's usually a little bit harder to get it all on the roller. But luckily today it's behaving pretty well. We 
with practice you actually get quite efficient with setting your hair and you can do it pretty fast. People are always amazed. This looks like you're putting a lot of effort into styling your hair and you do, but uh, after a while you really get it down to a science as I like to say. And when you're setting your hair at night, the advantage is in the morning, it's basically ready to go. So for the back, I'll either do two things. I'll either section it off like this and use one roller and do one, two, three, or you can actually take sections like this, split it in half. And again, it really depends on my mood, how long my hair is, how well it's curling. If I want a tighter curl or more curl, I will use more rollers. For a looser curl and more like a Veronica Lake type look, I'll use fewer rollers. It's just something that you learn by practicing. This works very well for me, but you may find that um, your hair responds better to a different method. Alright. We've got that last roller in. So, like I said before, if I was setting my hair dry with a cold um, set, I would go at this point and literally just splash some water on it just to get it a little bit damp um, so that it sets. With hot rollers, if I'm just hot rolling my hair, a lot of times I'll spray with hairspray or uh, hot sets or spray starch. So, now we wait for this to cool, so I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. All right, well, we're back. My hair has cooled, and so I'm going to demonstrate taking the rollers out, and then I'm going to show you how I brush them out. As you can see, when you take the rollers out, you have a nice little ringlet effect going on. We're definitely not going to leave that. All right. For brushes, I like to use a paddle brush that's a mix of boar, br boar bristles and nylon or pr plastic bristles. Uh, I like this because the boar bristles give a nice shine, but they're not um, dense enough to cut through my hair, so the plastic or metal bristles cut through it better for me. So, I just dive right in and start brushing. The brushing portion is what really gets that set the way you want it. Um, it's a nice kind of sculpted effect. So as I'm brushing through, I kind of smooth with my hands and sort of push the curls in place where I want them. And then you gotta do the little mirror trick to see the back of your hair. And as you can see, there's a nice wave in the back. It's very, what I would call Rita Hayworth hair. So once I'm more or less happy with how it looks brushed out, I go to town with a hairspray and really spray it so that it stays. Like I said, I have straight hair. Hairspray is a big 
part of the secret to keeping the set the way you want it. Uh, currently my favorite hairspray is uh, L'Oreal's Elnet which is pretty fantastic in terms of hold. It's got a nice hold but not too stiff. It actually does brush out like they say. My only complaint is that in the standard version uh, it really has very 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 strong fragrance and the fragrance lingers. So if you're sensitive to that don't go with this. Although I understand that um, they've recently released an unscented version in the U.S. So once this can is empty, I will be on the search for that. All right. And basically, as I'm spraying it in, kind of push the curl in place. It's great for flyaways or if you have any wayward curls where they just don't want to stay where you want. A little spray. And there you have it. 1940s or 50s hairstyle. Thank you.